guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a project pan update and this is the Harry Potter and the Cursed Child project pan. I always say something else than what the project is named. So this is based off the book and the theater show and it is of course created by Amanda and Jessica and it is from the Fantastic Ladies Facebook group. We are a big panning group with all people that likes to pan and do pretty pants together. So a big crew lab group. If you want to join there will always be a link in the description box. This project started on June 26th and it is ending in September on the 26th. I'm doing somewhat okay. Not Amazing, but okay. Hopefully August, June to August will be better. There are six categories we were going to connect products to and I chose a mixture of makeup and body products. So the first category is a product that inspires you to play and I chose an eyeshadow that I love. I'm so excited about it. It is the WC... No. It is the MDK Vice for palette and I chose Flame Glittery Orange Eyeshadow. That one right there. As you can see there is a dip but there was a small dip last time. So I don't know if it is bigger but I have used it a few times. Um, so my goal is to hit pan. I don't know if I can do that but in the weekdays my go-to look is an orangey look. So I think I can incorporate it a lot and hopefully hit pan. <laughs> Then we have a product that seems cursed and that is kind of a product that never ends. And I chose like a category that never ends and that is my body lotion stash. It's never ending. I can always put in a body lotion in Project Pen and I don't know why because I actually don't have a lot but I feel like it's never ending. I don't need that much body lotion. So I chose my Yves Rosé Raspberry and Peppermint uh, body lotion. This is a smaller size, 200 milliliters, so it should be doable. But your girl here forgot to moisturize half of the time the last month. So stupid. Because you, I have another body lotion in another project. And that is not getting used either. So that's just great. But yeah, I have made a little bit of progress and I have used it a few times um, a few times on my legs and then all over my body because I forgot in the shower and then I just forgot about it the last two weeks so I really need to up, up, up my game. I'm, I'm trying to mentally prepare myself to do it every night and again preparing myself because I'm not in that habit yet but I really want to be in the habit to get rid of that body lotion collection that I don't use. The time turner category and that is the oldest product in a category. And I chose my L'Oreal Gel Eyeliner in pure black. I have no idea if you can see any difference. I have used it only a few times. I used it today underneath uh, some eyeshadow is kind of covered up and some glitter liner. Um, so I've used it today and I used it two other times and I have begun to do that thing in the lid to make the brush more sharp, you know, so more precise. I've been working on this side over here and my goal was to make a straight line, so let's see if I can do that. So I don't know if it is easiest to cut it in half here or cut it in half here or maybe just here. I have no idea, but I really want to cut it in half. I've been focusing on a brown eyeliner in another project, so but this is ending first, so I think I will go switch over to this one now to make some progress on that one. Because it's obviously not going to move if you don't use it. Then the fourth category is the Sword of Gryffindor. It is going to be silver ruby or hourglass shaped, so silver ruby colored. So I chose a product with some silver... Uh, writing on it. It is the W7 Life's a Beach Beach Body Contour Sculpting Body Cream. So this is a shimmer cream. I do have it on today. I don't know if you can see it at all, but it is really really beautiful. I have not been good at using this, but a few times more. So I am at that line right there. I started at the middle line. This is from another project. So I have done well. And I have gotten some air out of it, so it is kind of down here, but there's also product up here, so 
product kind of stops there, you know, kind of. It's going slowly, but it's going. Then we have Slytherin's Locket, and that is going to be a glittery green item. I chose an eyeshadow because I'm stupid. <laughs> it is from the Vice Fall palette again, and I chose Arctic, which is this glittery green turquoise kind of shade right there. It's a beautiful shade, and I have used it two or three times. One time with the orangey shadow right here, orange in the mid inner part, and then the green in the outer corner. Sorry, my window is open. And then just another time in the outer corner with something on the eyelid. I can't remember what, but it was very, very similar to that shade. So I have used it a few times. It's not untouched, which is great. So it's getting used, more used than before the project, which is always a goal. <laughs> then we have the last category, which is uh, a part one and two. Um, that could be a double product, a duo, um, a twin product, you have two of. So I chose a lip liner that I have Two of, I have the same shade twice. It is the Champagne Lip Twister from W7. This one right here. I love this shade. I thought it was kind of deep. It's really not. It's really a beautiful nude. So I love wearing this day to day. I was working on another lip liner and then I finished that lip liner and now I went on to this one. So I only have the smallest bit of progress right there, but I reckon that I can do this. I can finish this by September now that I'm only working on this one, which is exciting. <laughs> so that was everything for my update. I hope you guys liked it. Please check out the other ladies down below or in the Fantastic Ladies group. I am so obsessed with that group and the panning projects. They are so creative. All of them. It's not only Amanda and Jessica that creates projects. It's everyone. You can just um, send a message to Amanda or Jessica and they will talk about the product you want to create. So I'm really, really excited about this and I'm excited that we have been doing a Harry Potter project every year since the Fantastic Lady started. So I really hope that they come up with another project next year. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe if you aren't already so you don't miss out on any videos from London or just in general from me <laughs> over the next couple of months and so you don't miss out on the finale either. You want to see the finale. So, I hope you guys are doing well. Until my next video. Bye!